While many assume the Qatar World Cup to be the finale, it instead was a kickoff for the era of Middle Eastern sports. Qatar and Saudi Arabia will be this decade's focal points of Asian sports, while Egypt and Turkey are expected to become part of the global sports hosting mix by 2030. As for the upcoming events, Morocco shall be hosting the FIFA Club World Cup in February, Qatar the Asian Cup in 2023, and Saudi Arabia shall be hosting it in 2027. Doha shall be home to the 2030 Asian Games, while in 2034, the turn shall be Riyadh's. The Desert Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is also expected to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games in its yet-to-be-completed $500 billion city of Neom on the Red Sea. It also is bidding for the right to 2026 AFC Women's Asian Cup. While Qatar and Saudi Arabia are separately bidding for the 2036 Olympics, they could instead join forces. Egypt and Turkey whereas are aiming for separate candidacies. Saudi Arabia and Egypt, unlike Qatar, are considered to be two of the world's worst human rights violators. However, for activists, the litmus test will be whether they subject the 2026 hosts of the World Cup, the United States, Mexico and Canada to the same level of criticism that Qatar experienced. Some of the discussions that revolve around the Qatar World Cup is that Lionel Messi's lifting of the trophy on behalf of the victorious Argentinian team wasn't spared either because of Qatari Amir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani honoring him with a traditional Arab cloak. This began a debate on whether autocracies that violate human rights should be granted hosting opportunities that allow them to project themselves on the international stage in a different light. However, at the end of the day, the World Cup achieved what the Qataris wanted. This is an opportunity for activists who consider tournaments as a golden opportunity to pursue the campaign for worker and human rights in the Middle East and North Africa. The Arab states could set a new benchmark for activists and restructure FIFA if Saudi Arabia for a second time tries to carve a new regional federation out of the world's soccer body's two largest constituent elements, the Asian Football Confederation and the Confederation of African Football. It was in 2018 that Saudi Arabia tried forming a Southwest Asian Football Federation constituting of Bahrain, Yemen, Oman, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Maldives, Sri Lanka and Pakistan who initially signed up for the federation. The initiative, however, collapsed within months. It was in 2015 that a split in Asian football was predicted from east to west. Qatar secured the right to the 2023 Asian World Cup due to China stepping down owing to its zero-tolerance COVID-19 policy. The Korean Football Association whereas responded positively to an AFC inquiry on whether it would want to replace China, but suggested that Qatar made a better financial offer. The Koreans further stressed that the prospect of Saudi financial support for the AFC had secured the kingdom hosting the 2027 Asian Cup. True to say, Arab influence in Asian and African soccer governance has long been prevalent. The AFC is headquartered in Egypt, traditionally one of African football's best performers at the national and club level. Arabs have presided over it for the past two decades, with it first being Qatari national Muhammad bin Hammam from 2002 until when he was ousted in 2011. The current president Salman Ibrahim Al Khalifa, a member of Bahrain's ruling family, has been in office since 2013 and is said to be elected unopposed in February for a fourth term.